Good afternoon everyone, yes it's Wrestling Showdown right here on the WTL Network every Sunday at 12pm. Thank you for subscribing and of course as I'm sure you're aware by now we are heading towards the toughest tournament in all of professional wrestling, Seven Deadly Sins. It all takes place for the first time ever. We are making history by having it across two separate locations on two separate months. The first part of Seven Deadly Sins happens on April 20th in Buckhaven. That is then followed on May the 10th by the second and concluding part of Seven Deadly Sins in Edinburgh. And then as if that wasn't enough, later that month on May 31st we head to Guiseley. June 1st we're in Newcastle. June 2nd we're in Stockton and Teesden. June 14th we're back up in Broxburn. All these events sponsored by our good friends at Crafty Connoisseur. Thank you so much to them. Check them out, tell them we said hello. And if you or somebody you know wants to sponsor a, a WCL event, maybe lots of WCL events, get in touch with us here at WCL via our website or Facebook, whatever, and uh, we'll tell you how you can make that happen. So I mentioned Seven Deadly Sins, the toughest tournament all pro wrestling. Four rounds of action, each round with its separate stipulations. You don't win it, you survive it. And whoever does survive it gets a heavyweight championship match in the main event of Resolution 13 coming up later this year. Now on April 20th when we go to Buckhaven, not only are you going to get the first two rounds of Seven Deadly Sins, that being the opening round which is a seven man battle royal, and then the quarter finals which are those matches with a ten minute time limit, but also Emily Hayden's going to be defending the Women's Championship in non Seven Deadly Sins tournament action. Then it all finished off in Edinburgh on May the 10th where you get the submission match semi-finals and of course the final of Seven Deadly Sins, a last man standing match. But who are the seven people getting involved in Seven Deadly Sins, I hear you ask? Well they are, in alphabetical order, the exile Luke Aldridge, Taylor Bryden, his nemesis Dickie Divers, the Asian sensation Omar Muhammad, the merchandise Mike Musso, the original Craig Stevens, and bad boy Liam Thompson. What a septet! That is one of the most intriguing lineups we've ever had. You've got a mixture of the old and the new, people that have been in Seven Deadly Sins before, people that have never been in there. This is going to be fantastic. Do not miss it. Get your tickets for Buckhaven and for Edinburgh. And speaking of Edinburgh, we were recently at Edinburgh Comic Con. It was fantastic. Thank you to all the organisers for letting us come along. And the match you're about to see came from Edinburgh Comic Con. It was a rematch from two weeks ago right here on Showdown. The tag team title is once again on the line. TJ Rage and Krieger are going to be taking on the very good Mr. Ewan G. Mackey and Tim Wiley. For Mackey and Wiley, didn't go well last time. They complained about what happened. I'm sure Joe Ford is will fill you in as we go along. But they demand the rematch. It got made at Edinburgh Comic Con, so let's go down to ringside and find out exactly what happened. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Ford, I see with you on Wrestling Showdown. And, oh, well, Tim Wiley's not even waiting for anything resembling an introduction. He's waiting for the bell. Goes straight after Krieger. The very good Mr. Eugene Mack and straight after TG Rage. And yes, the Tag Team Championship is on the line. This is a rematch from just a couple of weeks ago right here in Showdown. Oh, hang on, don't say do! And <laughs> right in those uppercuts. Now they change position. And the champions seem to have turned the, the match in their favour. These two teams, no strangers, like I said. This is a rematch from a couple of weeks ago right here in Showdown. Rage and Craig have defeated Mackie and Wiley in the, what you might say is controversial circumstances. Uh, very good Mr. Eugene Mackie wasn't technically the legal participant in the match. It's actually Tim Wiley, but he was one that was pinned anyway. And of course, they uh, took it out on the referee. Ironically, the referee who's in this match right now. It's just the way it's uh, been scheduled, unfortunately. So hopefully he's not going to be too intimidated by Mackie and Wiley. And hopefully things go a bit smoother, certainly for them anyway. But uh, so far it isn't, because they attacked Wage and Krager before the bell. And things we turned, we see TG Rage holding back Tim Wiley's arms. Or he was anyway, trying to let the crowd get a couple of shots in. Craigers going to see Mackey. I don't think anybody at Edmund Comic Con has quite ever seen anything like this. Hold on, the referee holding Tim Wiley's arms back. The medley's kind of forced into it by TG Rage, and frankly, oh, and again, 
Oh, a second job. Would you be arguing with TG Rage? I don't think I would. Mackie has a better of Krieger here as he slams him the apron. So it's all over the place here. No semblance of a standard, traditional, you know, a proper tag team match. It's just all over the place. Some animosity between these two teams, understandably so. Oh, Rage blocks Welly there. Gets in the shoulder block. What's he going to go for? There's some nice agility by TG Rage. Not something you'd necessarily expect from a drop kick. He's a big, powerful man, but he can move. And tag me to Krieger. And Tim Welly right in the firing line, launched in the far corner. Krieger charts in. There's another uppercut. And sends him to TG Rage. Krieger in the middle rope here. He's all over these uppercuts, isn't he? And they're striking with effect as well. We're going to see a giant swing. And could be the referee being really, really lenient because, frankly, the five count finished ages ago and technically the champion should have been disqualified by now. However, the referee choosing to be a bit more lax with what is at stake in this contest. Well, he crawls over and tags and Mackie a wise move. He's the freshest man. Oh, hold on. Mackie got caught and dropped down. Krieger straight in for the cover, but the referee was hesitant. Goes to the, I don't think maybe he saw Mackie tagging. I think he was trying to get Rage out of the ring. But regardless, Mackie is the legal man again. That was one of the issues that Wiley and Mackie had last time. And that the very good Mr. G. Mackie wasn't technically a legal participant. Oh, and Tim Wiley just snatched Krieger's ankle. That all cut his momentum off. And right in the face goes Mackie. He strikes with such accuracy with that sliding kick. And now he's got hold of the ref. And this allows Tim Wiley just to club away at Krieger. And you had to expect that when Mackie and Wiley were able to turn the match in their favour, they would definitely do so. And they would break every rule going. The referee, he's having a devil of a time trying to uh, keep... <laughs> oh, uh, Mackie kicking out of him. That could lead to a DQ here. I mean, both of these... Or both these teams really are very volatile. We've seen obviously TG Rage gets quite worked up and Krieger's being double teamed and they're cheating behind the referee's back. Mackie and Wiley are the two of the most nefarious characters in all of WTL. Working like a well oiled machine so far. Certainly after their last encounter with Rage and Krieger. Didn't seem like everything was going well between the two of them. I think they were finger pointing and blaming each other for what happened. But they're still on the same page and they've got the rematch, so we could be having the Tag Team Championship coming to them anytime soon. Now Wiley intimidating the ref. Mackie throttles Krieger, TG Rage comes in. And there's times like this when you could do with a second referee, isn't it? Tim Wiley clamping on that chin lock. Just going to cut the ox into the lungs. Slip his arm across the carotid artery, slow the flow of blood to the brain. Because if he's sly about it, TG Rage eh, could end up seeing his own partner, eh, Krieger, being choked here if Tim Wiley puts his forearm across his windpipe. But Krieger gets out, comes off the ropes, ducks the clothesline, and but doesn't duck the back elbow. Tim Wiley's not the tallest man in this match, he's not the as tallest Krieger, certainly, but he is powerful. When he hits you that back elbow, you are going to go down. And as we saw previously, when he and TJ Rage went at it, it's like two locomotives crashing together. Remember Tim Wiley, he's a world travelled wrestling veteran. So going for, I think, the better part of it, certainly the past two decades, I believe. I'm sure, it was the early 2000s he started out. I mean, he's wrestled extensively throughout France, wrestled in Pakistan not that long ago. There's Mackie with his new sequence, the rolling chunder lands that backsplash off the top rope. We never saw Vader do it quite like that, especially these days. And now another chin lock from Krieger, but just positions him round and makes a tag. Krieger gets across the TG Rage. The fact he's so tall, oh, see, so close, so close, millimetres away. Krieger being so tall benefits him. Because as long as he gets sort of close, he can probably tag TG Rage. Mackie, conversely, because he's not especially tall, he makes it harder for him. He's got to get closer to his corner. But it's just one of the 
the things you have to work around, have to use the gifts that God gave you, or didn't as the case be. Referee trying to keep TG Ranger, and you can tell he's irate. He can see what's going on, he can see over the referee's shoulder that Mackie and Welly are throttling Craig on the bottom rope. They've got the advantage, they're cheating, they're breaking every rule going, and TG can't do anything about it. Riker launches hard in that corner. And you can see by his body language the pain racing through his body. Those turnbuckle pads don't provide a lot of protection. I mean, they're just covering a thick metal hook. They're really, in some respects, more decorative than anything else. So when you hit it at the velocity that Krieger did, it's almost like you feel the metal hook digging straight into your back, and it's not pleasant. What's even less pleasant is having Mackie wrapping himself around you like a limpet. He's got his arms around Krieger's neck, he's got his legs around his waist. If he's checking his arm, Krieger could be unconscious here, that's two, if it falls again this is going to be over. No, there's still life in Krieger yet. Trying to feed off the energy of the crowd. He needs to get Mackie off his back. Now Mackie doesn't have a lot of body weight which may benefit Krieger. He managed to break the leg grip but Mackie reapplies it. See Krieger, he's up but I think he's fading. And backs Mackie at the corner. Here comes Mackie, ducks the clothesline. Oh, but doesn't duck that one. Krieger spins round and clobbers him. It's easy for Mackie to duck under Krieger's arms, because again, Krieger's a, a good bit taller than Mackie is, but he didn't duck the second clothesline. That's things that you find when you've wrestled people before. You become familiar with what they can do, you get an idea of their tactics, and obviously both teams have studied the other. But that match they had previously here on show and has benefited both teams because they know what the other brings to the table. Krieger really needs a tag. I think TG needs to explode in the ring if he gets it. And he takes the tag, so does Tim Wiley. And TG rage like a runaway train here. Big avalanche in the corner. And a running boot drops Tim Wiley like a bad habit. And an elbow drop, jumping for extra height and velocity. Doesn't quite put Tim Wiley away, however. I think TG is going to try and throw Tim Wiley down with some force. Wiley's struggling, and he slips out the back, and clubbers TG Rage right in the back of the neck. And tags me to Mackey with a. Oh, the body press. There's a lack of body weight going against Mackie. TJ Rage caught him. He's a really powerful guy, he's TJ. And Mackie gets flung nearly out the ring. Managed to grab that bottom rope, otherwise he'd have been on the floor. Fine comes Tim Wiley. And what a German suplex. That's not something that TJ Rage is used to. Super kick. And Wiley goes out of the ring. Hang on, this reminds me of the last time they fought. Exactly the same thing happened. Here's Mackie the Misty Flip. Going to cover Krieger. But hold on, the referee caught it this time. Mackie argued with him. Krieger's not legal and he's right. Referee paying attention and caught it this time. Didn't last time, but he got it this time. I don't think Mackie realises what's going on. He's arguing with the ref. He needs to pay attention because look what's behind him. It's that human brick wall called TJ Rage. And now Mackie realises what's going on. Oh, there's a handshake. Oh, and up goes Mackie. Express elevator to the penthouse suite. And straight down the basement. And Ranger Krager have got Mackie all to their own. While he's out on the floor somewhere, they've hooked him up. They've killed the magic yet again. And so they beat him last time. We'll do the same this time. And it does. TJ Raging Krager defeat Mackie. To Wiley a bit too late in getting in there. As a consequence, Rage and Krieger are still your W3L Tag Team Champions and Mackie and Wiley are unhappy about that. Now, admittedly, the referee got it right this time. The legal man was pinned, but that's not going to improve Mackie and Wiley's moods. Look at the corner of the ring. Argue oh, Wiley just shoves them down. Arguing with each other. The champs retain. Who's their next set challenge going to be? It certainly may not be Mackie and Wiley because there's obviously problems there. We'll try and keep tabs on this here in Wrestling Showdown. Yeah. 
Yet again, TG Rage and Krager find a way to retain the title against Tim Wiley and the very good Mr. Ewan G. Mackey. And the two of them have kind of been at odds about it, each blaming the other for what happened. You know, so you saw before they blamed the referee. So uh, I'm sure we'll keep tabs on just what's going on with that. But I mentioned Seven Deadly Sins. It's on the horizon. Happens April 20th in Buckhaven. And then, of course, on May the 10th in Edinburgh. If you were at Edinburgh Comic Con, come out and see us in Edinburgh at the Southside Community Centre for the second half of Seven Deadly Sins. The toughest tour in all of pro wrestling kicks off in Buckhaven, falls by ending up at Edinburgh 20 days later. What's going to happen? How will it affect the strategy of the participants? You'll find it by being in both places. And you should come in both places. And if you can make it, on May 31st, come down to Geisley, June 1st, in Newcastle, June 2nd, Stockton on Tees, and then June 14th in Brockburn. All those events, of course, sponsored by our friends at Crafty Connoisseur. Of course, the septet involved in Seven Deadly Sins. That being Luke Aldridge, Taylor Bryden, Dickie Divers, Omar Muhammad, Mike Musso, Craig Stevens, and Liam Thompson. It's going to be fantastic to see what happens with them, who they end up facing, what the, the tournament's going to be over Broxburn and Edinburgh. You should really pick up your tickets for that as soon as possible. And you can get them by going to our website, wtheorwrestling.com. Make sure you buy your tickets from there and send it to our mailing list while you're at it. Give us a like on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, join us over on Instagram. Subscribe to this channel to never miss an episode because next week here in Chudown, we're going to bring you another match from Edinburgh Comic Con. Once again, thanks to everyone who put Comic Con on for letting us come along and do what we do. Hopefully, we'll see you next year. Hopefully you were there and you enjoyed it. So another match on Comic Con next week. That's one not to miss. Use the hashtag WTL Wrestling Showdown. Who do you think is going to win Seven Deadly Sins? Who do you think is going to walk away getting that title match in the main event of Wrestling 13 later in the year? Get in touch and engage with us here at WTL. Then come back in seven days' time. So I'm going to bring you another match from Edinburgh Comic Con right here on Wrestling Showdown. Hey, um, yes, I'm I'm finally. I'm at the end of the Comic Con, so I'll be back on when it's 6 o'clock, so... Who's this? It's Dad. He'll ring you back. Can I help you? Get in the cage. What? Get in the cage. What? Get in the cage! I can't... Whoa! What? Whoa! I don't want to struggle. What are you doing? 